When Lydia was just 17 years old, her face was crushed by an ox cart accident in her rural Zimbabwe village. Her injuries were so severe, her brother fainted when he discovered her body. No one thought she would survive. One of Lydia's surgeons, Dr. Wayne Manana, recalls meeting Lydia. It was a complex case from our perspective. If someone has pan facial, many fractures in the facial region, it's very difficult. In all of Zimbabwe and neighboring Zambia, there are just six reconstructive surgeons to aid a population of more than 33 million people. In the event of traffic accidents, burns, or congenital birth defects, most people can't get treatment. They often either become disabled or die too soon. There isn't anyone to take care of these people. When you meet the people out there, you see how much need there is. And whenever we go out there, there's so many numbers coming in. And we'll do as much as we can. But when we go back, there's guaranteed to be more. And who knows how many more are out there. When I was a very young surgeon, because I was so frustrated with seeing all these people coming to my clinic, and there was nobody who knew what to do. You know, and it's very difficult for a doctor to see a patient and say to a patient, you know, I don't know where to send you. Sadly, this situation is not isolated to Zambia and Zimbabwe. Most poor countries have a massive shortage of reconstructive surgeons. But research wants to change that. From Africa to Asia to Latin America, we provide local doctors the training and financial support they need to care for those like Lydia. That where you've got local surgeons who can do the work, it's actually more cost effective to help them so that they can deliver these kind of services. Fortunately for Lydia, at the time of her accident, a research educator team with a Real Self Fellow were visiting the capital of Harare, training local surgeons, including Dr. Manana, in craniofacial reconstructive surgery techniques. Dr. Manana recalls what Lydia's case taught him and other local surgeons. Our interaction with the surgeons that came, it has really given us the courage. The fact that we, we had interacted with these surgeons, we have been able to do even more complex cases. Huh? For Dr. Manana, the training research gave him has had a ripple effect that will enable him to treat similar patients for the rest of his working life. Research's hands-on training will save hundreds of lives and restore many more patients' ability to work, go to school, and care for their families. And what about Lydia? Thanks to reconstructive surgery, she can eat, she can see, she can live. But her story is rare because reconstructive surgeons are rare. It's time to change that. A journey of a thousand steps starts with a single step. I know that he's one surgeon in the country, and that would just make me one more surgeon, but I believe it's one step, and we start somewhere. Take your step today 